Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of A New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just gotten done helping out the boomers a little bit with, uh, well, ant extermination, learning about their history, and a whole host of other things. Now, we're going to head over to Loyal to talk about their plans to, apparently, bring back a bomber from the depths of Lake Mist? I'm not entirely sure where it is, but I know it's in some big freshwater lake nearby. That's about all I remember. I'm happy Hello. you came along. You are the answer to our dreams. You're welcome, and you're Percy right there. Oh, shit. It's all right to tell you about the lady in the water. Lady in the water. That sounds really creepy, Loyal. Ain't nothing creepy about it. It's a term of respect. Okay. A long time ago, Long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, yeah. a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on anything it flew over. But anyway, moving on. Okay. This bomber crashed down in Lake Mead, pretty damn right. near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. Hmm. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Since Kinda. I was a young man, I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake and bringing her back to life. What do you say? Hmm. How do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of the lake? Simple. Attach deployable ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is oh. a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. Alrighty. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. Hasn't been one of us, not a one, to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 uh, years. Okay. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Fair enough. Alrighty. I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find the plane, attach the ballast, and hit the button. Alrighty. Any ideas how to get to the bottom without drowning? Might try holding your breath. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather once. Okay. At that the first option does not sound like a good idea, so I'm gonna go with the second idea, if you do not mind. Uh I assume this is Jack. Hello. So you're the outsider. Yeah. Your whole life out there, huh? Wow. Kinda. I always yeah. thought you savages probably spoke a different language. But I hear you sound like us. Can you stop with the savages for five goddamn minutes? Okay. Loyal said you can help me breathe underwater. I just need some parts from a pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal for the rebreather. Gotcha. Corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive would make a good hermetic seal. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Aha. Here you go. A new rebreather. Yay! Something with corn silk in it. <laughs> That's gotta be a thing. Anyway, I'm looking for ways to help out. Any other thing? Uh, any other things come to mind? What I could use is some scrap metal. Hmm. It may not sound exciting, but around here we have to recycle every rivet and plate. The other thing. You being from the outside and all, well, I guess you'd call it a personal matter, but, well, uh, forget it. Where I come from, we discuss personal matters all the time, more than we probably should. That must be nice, sharing yourself like that, not being embarrassed or anything. Well, yeah. the thing is, there's this girl. Okay, go on. Oh, that sort of personal matter, <laughs> forget I'm not gonna be an asshole here. I've already dug my I've already dug my grave. I might as well just lay in it for a bit. Oh, you can't miss her. She has short red hair and she's the most beautiful woman who ever lived. You'd mm. really talk to her for me? What if she feels the same way? What if she comes here like you did? What if she gets blown up? What if she doesn't like me? Oh, jeez. Uh, I better just let you handle it. I'm better with machines. They don't make my stomach queasy like this. 
Wow. <laughs> this boy is in deep. God damn. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll look into it. Stranger things have happened. That would be amazing. As in, I would thank you forever. You, you can and probably should. Young hearts. Okay. Sounded like he was describing Cass there for about five seconds, but that makes you wonder why he knows about her, if anything. But, uh, same time, it's probably just a coinky dink. I say not knowing at all. Alright, um... <laughs> I can't believe I'm helping someone find a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't even have a girlfriend. Ah, okay. I'm an idiot. I'm going to do this because I guess I should. Uh, Crimson Caravan Company. Is that... That's weirdly close by. Alrighty, I guess I'm going to go over here. Finally get away from the sound of booming howitzers for a few hours. That'd be nice. Alrighty. Whoop. There's the marker. I guess it is in Crimson Caravan Company. I'm still hearing it. Really? I can't get away even now? God damn it. Okay. So it is in the Crimson Caravan Company. Alright. Didn't want to set foot in here if I could avoid it, but okay. I guess. Oh, it must be one of the uh, caravaneers. Maybe. This is this her? I've heard Short that red hair. are nastier than ever. Janet, okay. You should go talk to Blake or Alice. They handle most of our contact with visitors. I don't suppose you watch the boomers over in Nellis sometimes, do you? I watch all sorts of things with my binoculars. Who wants to know and why? Uh, I've been inside Nellis. There's a young man there who has a crush on you. Nice looking blonde boy. I always wondered if he was watching me back. Oh. What's he like? Oh. He's nice, maybe a little naive. Seems convinced you're the love of his life. Really? That's so sweet. Oh. I'd love to go meet him. Is there any way the boomers would let me visit Nellis? Uh, you have permission. Oh, no. That'd get her killed for sure. Oh, jeez. I don't want to be that asshole. <laughs> I'll ask Pearl to make an exception for you. This is so exciting. Let me know how it turns out. Will do. <laughs> well, I mean, here's hoping that things actually work out. Okay, time to fast travel all the way back. Jesus. <laughs> the things I do for love. It's not even my love. <laughs> Jesus, Howard Christ. What am I doing? <laughs> Apparently this, playing matchmaker. Okay. Well, I mean, considering I was playing matchmaker for a uh, robot fetishist and a robot earlier today. I mean, <laughs> well, not earlier today, earlier this year. You know, I, I, I might as well just roll with it. <laughs> I mean, I've already done the worst that could possibly be done. Why not fucking do this? This is actually adorable, considering. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Thank you. Jack is interested in a girl. Well, well, this is welcome news. Who okay. is she? Um, she, uh, did some kooky day looking for love. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the lines that they put in front of me while I'm doing this quest. Uh, she works for the Crimson Caravan. She's with those traitors? They've tried to contact us before, but I'm not interested in trading with greedy savages. This presents a bit of a problem. Jack isn't allowed to leave Nellis, and yeah. I doubt she would make it through the artillery alive. Kinda, yeah. Uh, I assure you Janet would not be a threat to the tribe. It would mean a lot to Jack if she could come to Nellis. Hmm. I suppose Jack deserves a chance at love. Mm -hmm. You can tell Jack she has a free pass to enter, but he is responsible for her actions. That is absolutely fair. Do not fair. make me regret this decision, outsider. 
I'm still trying to figure out who to help and how at this point. Loyal still needs help getting the plane back to Nellis. And there may be others who still require assistance. Okay. All right. See ya. See ya. All right. Well, I think I helped out a little bit. All right. Who do I need to talk to? I guess I need to talk to Jack again. Go all the way back. And then I guess I need to talk to Janet to let her know, don't I? <sighs> no, boy. <laughs> the things I do in this game... It, you, 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 it just makes me wonder why. Okay, there's Jack, I assume. Yep, all the way over here. Really? Hello. So we may see our dream of flight soon? Uh, soon, Have you yeah. seen her? The redhead of my dreams? Yeah, good news. She feels the same way. She does? You mean it? That's incredible. What yeah. happens next? Can she come here? How do we make sure she doesn't get blown up? Should I talk to the gunners or to Pearl? I spoke to Pearl, but Janet needs to way past the artillery. Here, take this boomer outfit. I'll let the gunners know she's coming and not to shoot at her. Okay. Well, mint boomer outfit for Janet added. Hey! There we go. Now we can get this working out. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope some boomer doesn't get cocky and just start shooting. That might go bad. <laughs> and that's the last thing I need at this point. I'm already being enough of a nice person. Okay. Uh, why did it have to be inside the Crimson Caravan Company? Why? Alright. Here goes something. Uh, I'm gonna drink my soda real quick. Jesus. Things I do for this kooky, crazy tribe. Uh... Alrighty. Let's see how Janet feels about the whole thing. Hello again. How's your boomer friend? Actually, I wanted to talk to you about him again. I was hoping you would. What's going on? Have they agreed to my safety yet? Uh, I got a boomer. <laughs> oh god, they still give me that option. <laughs> I got a boomer uniform for you to wear while you cross to Nellis. There's one more thing. I have a work contract with the Crimson Caravan, and if I walk away... I lose the wages they owe me. Could you do mm. just one more thing for me and talk to Alice McLafferty about it? I know if I do it, she'll just say no. I'd hate to lose the money. Great, now I have to get her out of her contract. The, the things I do for love that isn't even mine. For, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, here we go. God damn it. Okay. Lafferty, you bitch. Welcome back. Yeah, we know your involvement with Kate. Cass, rather. Fucking ass. I'm getting my redheads mixed up. <laughs> it's easy to do. You have five of them. Alright, uh, Janet's asked me to talk to you about releasing her from her contract. Ah, yes. Her infatuation with a boomer she's never met. It's a small camp. More gets around. Okay. She's aware she's breaking her contract, which is undoubtedly why she sent you to talk to me instead of coming herself. Yeah. Janet is free to leave, but she forfeits the wages she's owed. That's the price of contract breaking. Take it or leave it. Huh. Are you really going to ruin what's supposed to be a time of happiness for her? Being sentimental is not how I made the Crimson Caravan so successful. But I'll allow it, just as once. You better. Janet will be paid what she's owed. Consider it a gift. You better. <laughs> Alrighty. Perfect. Janet. Let Janet know that McCafferty, bitchy McBitch face, has agreed to pay her. I'm just gonna call Alice Bitchy McBitch face forever. Have you spoken now. with McCafferty yet? Bitchy McBitch face has promised to pay you. That's great. I can't believe you went through all this trouble for me. Thank you. Now I'm going through this trouble for both of you at this point. 
Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. <laughs> Alrighty. And now she's all dressed up and raring to go. Alright, time for me to fast travel over there myself. The buttons will work. There we go. Yeesh. I'm gonna have to drink more of my soda and throw in the load screen if you don't mind. Never mind. That was a really fucking short load screen. Alright, is she even here yet? Holy shit, I made it here before. Alright. I'm going to wait a few hours. Because why not at this point, huh? Why not? Oop, it's getting dark. And my phone's ringing at 6 in the morning? Why? Why 6 in the morning? Eh? Why 6? Alright, well. Fuck it. We're going to go figure out what's going on here. Uh, there's Jack and... Really? There's Janet. See our dream of flight soon? What the hell are you talking to her about? Okay, meet Janet back at Nellis. There's Janet. Hello. It's great to finally meet you. Hi there. It's great to meet you as well. I'm glad you made it out here. You're even more stunning up close than you were at a distance. Aww. And you're even more handsome up close. Do you think it'll be okay if I hang around here for a little while, so we can get to know each other better? Of course it would. I'll have you set up with some quarters with some of the other women. Hello. Alrighty. Thank you for getting Janet to know us. I've never been so happy in my entire life. You're welcome. Uh... That worked out. Hey! Bye. I need to get going. You, you two lovebirds have fun. Doing whatever. <laughs> Alrighty. This was a weird experience from start to finish. All right. <laughs> the things I do. Okay. I'm going to head to where I was supposed to go. I think, where is Lake Mead? I don't know. Oh, it's over there. Okay. So that's Colville Bay. And there's the fort where they don't like me. Well, for good reason. Um, Camp Guardian, Guardian Peak. I could probably do it from Colville Bay. Let's head over there from Colville Bay. <sighs> Time to go after the crashed B-29. Oh, it's all the way in there. Hmm. At least I think it is. Uh, just making sure there's nothing else just being sneaky around me. Uh, okay. Uh, whoops. Come on. There we go. That was the one I meant to hit. Valer. Alright. Or Valer. Or something like that. I don't know which one. Oh. Oh. Someone was being sneaky, huh? Oh, geez. Oh, you snuck up real quickly. And you are gone. That was fast. Ah, damn. Alright. And nothing on it. Great. That was well worth nothing. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Oh, geez. That was way too fast. Way too close. Alright, there's that one gone. There's an another one way over there, but... Jesus, how many of them are in there? Jesus, Howard Christ. Okay. That was nice. Okay, might as well just keep taking shots like that. Um, there we go. I'm just trying to get them in the antenna to try and get them in the frenzy to kill each other, at the very least. There we go. And... There we go. Perfect. Now that they're frenzying on each other, I can at least wait to take some shots. There we go. Whew. Alright, well, that worked better than I expected, considering it came out of nowhere. Shiza. That was not a good thing. Not even close. Please tell me there's no more. 
That's the last thing I want to deal with. More of those. It's enough of a burden just dealing with that many. Shiza. Alright. So it's right there in Lake Mead. What the... What the hell is... Huh. Hmm. That's a... Oh, that's a harpoon. Why do they have a harpoon? That's weird. Okay, I'm just going to go underwater now. Ooh. Just realized I forgot something. Whoops. Again, wrong thing. I keep doing the wrong thing. Uh, I wanted to do the rebreather. There we go. Added water breathing. Haha. -ha. Now you notice the little O2 circle never goes down now. Yay. Which is a thing I wanted for the longest time, but I just never was able to get it. Because you have to do this quest to be able to get it. Alrighty. Now there's a little scrap pile down here. And now I can explore the water all I want. <laughs> Dehydration increases while I'm underwater. I thunk that. Alright. This appears to be a good location to attach one of the deployable ballast packages. Alrighty, let's attach it. And it's good. Oops, I am stuck under the wing. Shiza, there we go. And other wing should be good spot for other one. Alright, let's... Jeez, come on, let me get at it. Crying out loud. Uh, there we go. Dap, dap, there we go. Attach, and back out. And I gotta return to shore to get the tow hitch. Which was must have been what that uh, little harpoon thing was. And use Loyal's detonator to float it up. Alright. Sounds like an idea to me. Oh, I should probably grab that, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, detonator should be... Not there. Loyal's detonator. There it is. Okay, I didn't realize it was titled differently, so it was put in a different alphabetical order. Alrighty. Back on. That's a weird way to... That is a really jarring sound. Hey! Oh, jeez. That wing kind of busted on its way up. That's not a good thing. Well, I mean, we got it this far. Should be doable from here. Besides, they have the spare parts from that other B-29, don't they? I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Alrighty, head back to Nellis. And let them know I did a good job. Alright. Whew, this episode's going to be a little longer than usual. Simply because I'm doing all of this. Ooh, I need to drink water. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay. We're not dirty water. What am I thinking? I can easily do it with just regular purified water. Now let's do another one. Just on the off chance. Let's look at everything else, too. H2O's good. Food is next one on the list. Right next to sleep. Yeesh. Okay. Uh, preserved meat. Let's do that one. There we go. Let's put that away. Perfect. And where is Loyal? That's a good question. Oh, he's over there. Perfect. Where is he at? There he is. Right next to Jack and Janet. Where, where'd he go? Oh, there he is. He was walking over this way. It's Yo. going to be a dream come true once you've raised that bomber from Lake Mead. Well, it's true now because I just did it. The plane floated up. Seems to be intact. Well, except That's for the That's tremendous. I'll transmit instructions to the robots to start packing up the plane to bring it back to Nellis. Hey, how exactly do you plan to get the plane here? I just told you. The robots are going to handle it. They'll hmm. break the plane down into pieces and move it up from Colville Bay in one shot. Oh. Oh. That's a thing. 
I want to be able to do that one. I want to be able to do that one. Give me a minute, folks. I'm going to do something. Now. It's going to be a dream come true. Alrighty, I am back. I wanted to point this out to him because that is a thing I really think they should know. Are you planning to use diversionary tactics to draw their attention? Exactly. We'll be shelling an unoccupied location in outer Vegas to get their attention elsewhere. Hmm. By the time they realize they aren't under attack, plane and the bots will be long gone. Ah, the kids wish we were shelling a real target, but Pearl thinks it's wise not to start up a war just as the lady has risen. That's a good idea. Well, I'm glad to have helped. Hey, I'd better get rolling. Jack and I have a lot of work ahead of us. Alrighty, sounds good. Well, good luck with that, with lover boy being a little distracted. But nonetheless, I should talk to who? Because it's staying, I'm still on the quest, so it's staying, it's saying. Let Pearl know your job is done. Alrighty, so I just need to talk to Pearl. You know what? I'll think I I think I'll save that for the next episode. Because I'm already running way over time on this one. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video and me butchering my own outro. <laughs> And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat. Playing games and helping the bombers bring an actual bomber out of a lake for you.